So alizarin crimson, Naples yellow, white, and ultramarine violet. So for this one here in the in the back, this one, I'm going to use a bit of um, lots of white in my alizarin crimson, and I'm going to take Naples yellow and mix it with the pink and add a bit more white. So I want a bit of yellow in here, like a light, soft, soft yellow. Should it look yellow, not pink? No, no, it, it has a bit, a bit of uh, yellow in there. It does look pink. Okay. Got it does look pink. It does. It does. So now halfway, I'm halfway through. I'm going to take ultramarine violet, the same mixture, I'm adding ultramarine violet. And I'm going to do the other half with a bit of ultramarine violet. So my base color is still pink. All I'm doing is I'm dipping other colors in there. This is my first uh, layer. I'm going to have another layer there. This is just preparing. Now, the more I go down, the darker I'm going to go. So darker meaning I'm going to add more ultramarine violet. And that's okay if you if it if it turns to uh, if you find that it's looking too uh, purple that's okay there's another layer coming over this this is just the first layer let I'm gonna let this dry and come over here to this one and use the same ultramarine violet. Mix it with a bit of the um, pink that has a bit of uh, Naples yellow and white. I'm gonna come here. change my brush to a smaller one. Um, not, I'm not, I can't control the brush stroke with the big one, big brush. Again, I can see that it's a bit darker in this, in the, in this area. So halfway, almost halfway. And I'm going to grab pink at this point. Pink and white. You want to add, add white to it a bit because I still need that pink to be dark. This is an area where the um, it, it's it's a bit dark in here. Okay, darken it a little bit more. Add white.
I'll do a three, three of them and then I'll stop. I'll do that one here. All right. This looks to me like this part right here. That looks to me like it's a it's ultramarine violet. I'm going to put a bit of Naples yellow in it. Touch of Naples yellow. Okay, now I'm going to switch, clean my brush and switch to pink, glycerin crimson and white. One side has glycerin crimson and white and a bit of pink, uh, a bit of uh, purple in there. to pink and go down here. All of this will dry darker, so it'll be perfect. Now pink and white. I'm just gonna get to this part here and I'm gonna add pink and white because this, this part has more light. Mix them a bit, <laughs> blend them, blend them. Soft blending. Right, good. So this is kind of, it gives me an idea how the colors are going to be. Right, so let's do the, the big one right here, that one. I'm going to take ultramarine violet, put a bit of uh, Naples yellow on it, Naples yellow and white. Um, I want it to look more, I want it to look a, more, more like a purple. So it's a like toned down kind of purple. That's why I'm mixing purple and yellow. It's very uh, neutral kind of. Now, same mixture. I'm going to take Naples yellow and the same mixture, 
So I want it to make to look a bit more yellow now and white. Excellent. So there's a lot more light on this one here. That's why the yellow uh, tint in there. Now I'm gonna go back, wash my brush. Go back to a bit more, add a bit more ultramarine violet in here. What are you adding a bit more of? Ultramarine violet. Oh, ultramarine violet. And now slowly, I'm going to switch to pink. It's amazing when you look at the uh, each petal, how many shades of different uh, colors there are in there. All right, this one here will have pink in the back. Pink, pink, so it's a, a lizard and crimson. Ultramarine violet. Bit of white. Now, the one next to it is very similar, almost same colors in here. That's just a lizard and white layout. Lizard and crimson, a uh, bit of white, a little bit of white, and um, ultramarine violet. adding a lot more white now, a bit of yellow.
taking Naples yellow now and adding white to it. This part right here has white, the same mixture of um, pink, a bit of pink, a lot, lots of white and Naples yellow, this one here. So what I did is I added ultramarine violet to it for this part. So now I'm going to go back and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stop after this. I'm going to go back to this. This has a lot more. It's pink. Uh, not a lot of white in here. And ultramarine violet. Once we get to the once we get to the tip bottom part here, I'm gonna add a bit of alizarin crimson in here. If we're way behind and we don't hear all these colors, I'm we'll keep on asking you. Sure, ask me, no problem. Go for it. I'm going to take um, a lizard in crimson and just put it on top of this here. This lizard in crimson has a bit of white in it. I'm going to come here to the same, same color. Again, for this one, so it's perfect color right now. So the in crimson is working very well. And we're taking advantage of the dark uh, part, dark, dark black, um gesso it makes it makes the alizarin crimson go even darker because alizarin crimson is uh transparent now i'm gonna come here same 
right here. Okay, awesome. No. Same thing, six millisecond crimson and add white. Make a nice pink. By the time I get to the bottom part, I'm gonna increase the amount of glycerin crimson in here and put a bit of ultramarine violet in it. So ultramarine violet will help darken the bottom part. Just adding a touch, I added white, a very small amount of Naples yellow. And I'm just gonna do another layer here, very soft. All right, first layer good, looks good to me. Now, I'm going to take Naples yellow, ultramarine violet, more ultramarine violet than Naples yellow, and I'm going to put white in it. So it gives me that kind of a grayish, a gray um, purple. And I'll just, as soon as you put white to this mixture, you'll know if you need more alizarin crimson, uh, I mean more, more purple or, or more yellow. White will, will, will show you. Um, where the color is tipping, uh, looking more, if, it's, if the color is looking more yellow, on the yellow side or on the purple side. So we 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 want it on the for this on the purple side. It needs a bit more purple. So I'm gonna take purple and put it in. Now this part right here is lighter way lighter. And so I'm going to take Naples yellow, lots of white. And I'm going to take a touch of purple. So now, now my color, these two colors that are mixed together, which is purple and yellow, one side has more purple and the other side has more yellow. So this is how I can adjust it by adding white. As soon as I add white, I can tell. I can tell if this is needs, if it needs more yellow or if it needs more purple. Yes. 
still needs more purple. This yellow is too yellow. So I'm, I'm add, I added a bit more purple. That's better. That's much better. Right now, I'm going to take glycerin crimson, white, add white to it, make it like a light, light pink. And come up over here. And now the more I go down into this area, I'm gonna add a bit more of the combination of um, ultramarine violet and Naples yellow and white, but more, more ultramarine violet than, than purple. This is a shadow area. So you want that when it's shadow area, you use cool colors. So more purple. And where there's light, we use yellow, more yellow. So more of the warm colors where there's light. Light, warm colors, shadow, cool colors. So that little piece you're doing in yellow and and purple and white. Naples yellow and white. And I'm going to take this and crimson, put it in. Perfect. This is where the light is. So it's going to be this side here. Nice. And now I'm going to take a, there's kind of a triangle in there. I like, uh, this using the purple that I have in there. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to add a, a bit more of the alizarin. So a bit more uh, pink in here. Is this supposed to look more yellow or more white? Mm. More not white and not yellow. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's take uh, here. Let's let's do it again. Let's take Naples yellow, put white in it, and make it really really light. And then take a bit of lizard, dip it in it, put it in it. Um, if you're not sure about the color, keep the, use these colors, but keep the um, ultramarine violet showing more. You know, take ultramarine violet, put it in that color, because the original underneath has ultramarine violet. Take ultramarine violet, dip it in that mixture that we have here. So we have Naples yellow, white, mixed together here. Um, 
and then I, I used a bit of alizarin, put it in, in it. So it's a light, light kind of uh, warm, not orange, just, just kind of um, pink, but it's not pink, pink, pink and white. It has that, that Naples yellow in it, which makes it, it tones down the pink. And then I added, add a bit of the uh, ultramarine violet in here, in it. But keep it light, really light, because we that's what we want to show. We want to show light. Does it sound like math? Too much, uh, too many things happening? Wait for it to dry, and now I am highlighting a tiny little bit more. with white and uh, adding white to the same mixture. I'm gonna take a bit of more ultramarine, uh, I'm taking ultramarine violet and pushing the color up because I don't want the highlight to be go all the way down. And the more I go down into this area, the more ultramarine violet I'm going to put in there. 